what's going on guys take up is here again so in this tutorial what we're gonna look at is how to toggle day and night mode in android so let's get right into it okay so i have my main activity java file here and my activity main layout file here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just play some edit text and some switches and a switch sorry and a switch into my um activity main file okay so this is an edit text is also another edit text I'm using the country layout for this tutorial but you can go ahead and use relative layout or any layout of your choice it's not strictly constrained layout okay so I'm just preparing my layout right here okay so as you can see this layout is basically basically contains two edit text fields and then one text view and a switch this switch is going to use to toggle the um, day and night mode okay so you can see that we have an error here um, where this we are creating an, an attribute for our text color here so let's go right to our resources and then under values we'll just create an attribute attr dot attr is the okay attr is okay so in this layout file we're going to use um we're going to place our attribute right into it so why we are using this attribute is that in case when we get to the part where we need to switch to the day or night mode we want to change the color from white or from black to white or vice versa so we are using this attribute to be able to control how we are going to do go about it so the next thing we going to do is uh, we we'll head back to our main activity and then our main activity since i have my edit text fields that's my preview design so i have my name my message hey, i have my name text field i have a message text field and i have the text view so i'm going to declare all those in my in my main activity to java file or my main activity class what i have here and uh, i'm going to declare them as well here i'm going to initialize them here then i'll create method okay so now i'm done with that and the next thing i need to do is declare some colors that i'm going to use for the night theme so i'll just copy some i'll just paste some colors i already have here so for my night theme i'm going to be using prime color primary night color primary dark night color asset night and then uh, for the attributes as well i'll be using the this one way to set to the text view so let's say when my text view is is um in the day is using the day theme of using black but when it's night i'm using white so the next thing i'm also going to do is i'll have to create a values night package so i'll just do that by um opening this go to my app so me areas folder then this one i'm going to create a new folder which i'll call values hyphen night this is this is going to contain uh 
and night mode style sheets or styles yeah so i'll just uh, copy this from here and i'll paste it in my values at night oops it looks like i already have the night one here too i think it duplicated for me so now let me just go back to to my android studio okay so i have the styles night xml so right here you you can actually see that i i defined um colors for the night theme so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to define the colors right here since in this style of xml i'm using i'm still using the day theme colors so i'll also change here to day night day night which is very important if you don't change you still be having the same issue you still you're still going to have um a white background or or the day theme since it, it wouldn't change so um for the night theme like this as well i need i would like to also change the background of my activity when i switch to night mode to night so that's how i use this item in android colon window background and then this primary title color i would like to also change i'm setting it to i'm setting this color represented is a color for the text view so i'll be changing the color for the text view to the night color i'm setting here so i think we should also apply the same thing to the day so we'll just copy this one this is for the day theme let's copy this one and paste it here and i'm just going to take out night from this part so we get black all right so let me just go to my activity main so you can see that everything is looking sweet and okay here so now we are almost done with everything the next thing we need to do is uh, once i toggle once i use a switch to toggle to night mode or back to day mode if i'm to close the activity and open it again i'll i'll it will reset back to um, the default it's not it's not going to save those settings so i'm going to use share preferences to be able to keep the state of the night mode or the dark or the night or the day theme so i'll actually do that here I'll declare my preference name, which is nice more preference. This is a preference file name. I'll give it a key of night mode. And this is my shared preference. So I'm going to initialize shared preferences right here. And then the next thing is I'm going to work with my switch. So what the switch is going to do is uh, once I check it on or off, it will give me the night mode. So that's where you have the is checked here. So I'll check if the switch is on. If the switch is on, that means give me the the night mode. All right. So once it gives me the night mode, I'll have to also recreate the activity. So I do that using a recreate method. And then, but before I recreate, I save the nice mode state. So I'm just going to create method nice mode state. Okay, here. Okay. So my, I'm, I'm saving the state using a shared preference. I'm going to rename this to nice mode. So I'm actually going to be setting a true or false value um, to save the night mode state. So I'll just pass true or false value right here in this method and save the shared preference. Now we are actually done 
but then I want us to do one more thing. If let's say I'm to save the 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 state of the night mode, and then I close my application and open here, I'll I'll still not get what I'm looking for. I'll still get the default because I am not checking the shared preference to actually see whether or not I set my my nice most states. So I'll be using a, a, another method. I'll have to create another method to do that for me. And that method is check night mode activated. So right here, I check whether my night mode is activated. So I get the, the key of, I get the, the key which is a Boolean value and the default is false. But then this means that if the night mode is activated, that means set the switch to true. And then after that, I should just set the default night, the, the night mode to true. So this 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 line of code gives, sets the night mode for me. So if it's not activated, I, I set the switch to false and I just um, give me, I just set the theme to the day theme. So I'll have to call the method here. So check uh, nice one activated. So I'm actually done with this tutorial now. Everything should be working. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run this and see how how it works. So stay tuned. Okay, guys. So we have our application right here. So you can see the switch there. If I'm to just tap on it. We, wow, we have we now have our night mode. So if I click, if I tap on it again, I get uh, day mode, night, day, night, day, night, day, night, day. Okay, so this sounds fun. Let me tap the night mode. Let me go to night mode and now exit the activity. Then I'll just go back. Let me just clear the activity from here. Oh, just go here and you can see that we still have a night nice mode active due to a shared preference that we used to set the night mode state so that is all for this video if you like this video make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye